Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for being patient with yourselves as well as being loving and gentle toward, toward yourselves. Because we all can be our worst enemy because we're going through all these different changes and I know it can be very frustrating <laughs> on trying to let things go. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you feel um, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just stop telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you feel like a fellow empath or just anyone who's just going through something truly you see here right now, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving me as well as yourselves each and every day. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Like I told y'all before, I keep telling y'all at the beginning of my videos um, that I'll be placing my daughter's website. Um, in the description box below if you can go ahead and check her uh, side out she's trying to publish a book with um, different poets and different artists they're all collaborating in a book and showing you know all their beautiful talent which is you know I'm so proud of my daughter and she's came a long way so um, if you can just stop by her channel I mean her channel her website and let her know that I sent you there and if whatever if you can just donate like two or three dollars over it to be appreciated or whatever you feel like you can it'll be a blessing towards her as well as me as well um today my meditation music is called block all the negative vibes rise positive raise positive energy meditation music and spiritual healing and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 letting go of the negative to let the positive flow through you know all of us have been going through some hellish stuff you know i don't know your your situation but obviously you have been through some traumatizing stuff if it brought you towards my way <laughs> so it's just like everything serves a purpose you know sometimes it's hard for us to actually get the, the gist of the situations that we're going through but it it usually have to take you through a rotating door over and over again until you can learn that lesson trust me i know because i'm like i'm so tired of going through this and universe is like if you're tired of going through this you will get the lesson so you can be able to get yourself out of it and i'm like okay touche touche you know so I, I you know i can't be mad at nobody but myself but i also had to be patient and loving towards myself as well um going through things has been very hard i'm not gonna lie it has been because it's like a situation like that that I've been in for so many years and actually seeing the reason why I had to go through that was very hurtful especially when it has something to do with family and stuff like that and you're being adopted and you think like dang you know you you would hear about this on the news and you or you know reading an article or something like that for a child being abused or you know going through situations being a foster child or even just being in a family that can be abusive you know you really fill your heart with them like oh my god I couldn't fathom going through that until I found out I was going through it myself and I always used to think it was my fault for the things I went through and it, it was hard it, it really is hard but when I had to look at it it was like I had to go through that whole situation and really get the aha moment um just to know that you know things happen for a reason there's a purpose behind every pain painful situation we go through it's not there to punish us you know it's, it's just like sometimes people say oh i don't believe in god because of the situations i've been in i mean i was there too trust me i was there i, I mean i hated god for certain reasons I hated the universe for certain things I went through I'm like where were you at when all these things happened where were you at when all this stuff happened but never knowing you know yeah you had to go through these these things for you to be able to help somebody down the line because it's just like sometimes we could be placed in the most painful situations painful situations and it's just for me to be an open book and tell you the things that I went through um will be able to help other people like that she went through this 
and all this happened to her and you know I can have a smile on my face there's times where I cry you know asking God why did I have to go through this and when I every time I get a text message or an email or a comment letting me know how to help somebody along the way to let them see things for what they truly are that they went through that was the reason why I went through that pain and I can say I'm truly grateful for that you know and there's just like there's times that you know I wanted to pull my hair out I, I cried you know if y'all seen me on some of my past videos from like a year or two ago you will see the pain that I you know I had to surface that out and let y'all see that side of me and it wasn't like something I wanted somebody to feel bad for me or you know trying to be a poster child for something no it was I had to let y'all see that and that was a very uncomfortable vulnerable moment for me but I know with people going through situations themselves I'll have them look at their situation like dad you know she tries to push out positivity even though she was placed in a negative situation you know you never know what your situation might help somebody else heal from and that was the blessing I had to get out of that situation I had to let go of all the bad heartache all the you know the hateful situations I used to wish death on my family like how could you do this to me you know you put me in a situation that you, you blame me for something I had you know no control over but then it's just like now I can actually say from the bottom of my heart I can honestly say I forgive them I honestly forgive them I don't wish anything bad on them because I feel like if anything's gonna happen it's not gonna be from my vibes you know it's not gonna be from my hands we all get served something you know we all got karma I want to be able to push out love and light towards people I don't want to be pushing out love and light but I still have hatred towards people I don't have time for that because I got too many blessings coming in my life for me to have to worry about what has happened to me because that is that had happened to me they can't still continue continue to do things if I'm not allowing that to happen so it's just like I had to be able to do that because it was with me holding hatred in my heart that was still giving them power over me even when that I don't talk to those folks so it's just like when I know I have love and beauty coming towards me beautiful blessings that's why I look forward to that's why I want to keep my mind concentrated on being able to help other people and knowing you know hey we all go through things like I tell people I'm I'm an ear. I don't judge anybody. We all go through things. The only thing I don't call for is when, you know, you do something to children or do something to elderly folks. I ain't got time for all that. But, you know, we all go through things. It's like, you know, we're not placed in certain situations to punish us or feel like, you know, universe is having us go all the way out this way to be able to leave us astray. You know, we can't, that he's not going to put anything on us that we can't handle. Even though a lot of things we go through, we might not be able to handle at that point. But then when you finally have that sit back and look at what your situation has put you through, but what is it benefiting as well? You know, so I know I'm grateful for the situations I've gone through because it has helped me to heal in ways that I never thought I could. It gave me strength in places that I never thought I can have strength in, you know, it made me respect myself, love myself for who I truly am, be able to accept myself for who I was, knowing I was, you know, because I never felt like, oh, there's nothing special about me, so this and this and that, and then when I was, you know, my dad would constantly tell me in my ear, you know, you you're, you have a lot of strength, I just need you to see the things that I'm seeing in you, and it took a long time for me to be able to see that, so knowing you, you can't sit up here and harbor your hate, in your life you can't you know set up here and say push love out to somebody else and have hate for somebody else you have to be able to love yourself and when you love yourself and you respect yourself you'll be able to you know you forgive yourself for being able to hold on to all these things and when you see that it won't be hard for you to be able to forgive those people as well you know everybody goes through mistakes you know if it's like a parent that has put you through things yeah that's that parent but also you have to look at them like they're human too obviously they had to go through something and they're resurfacing they're teaching you the things that has been taught to them because I put my children through the same thing so it's not like not exactly going through the same thing that I went through but I pushed out the narcissistic vibes that they pushed out on me because that's all I knew and then I had to really you know really you know pay for that so it's just like when I tell my kids now that there's certain things they're still trying to heal from which I understand you know there's a lot of things that you, you don't understand and you're still trying to cope with or deal with and you know it takes one day at a time but you can't 
you know, you always have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself first. And I tell, you know, I made a video about that a few days ago. Forgive yourself first. When you can forgive yourself first and put that love in your heart and put that love around you, it will be no problem for you forgiving the people that has done the wrong to you. You just pray for them. You can love them from afar. You know, for a while, y'all heard me say, you know, I couldn't stand them or I, I, I don't have, I really don't have any kind of emotion towards them is just the people that they, they, they were placed in my memory they were pla they were in my my life for that moment but i don't wish any ill will towards nobody you know everything happens for a reason i can honestly say that and it feels so good to be able to say this and not having to feel like i had to convince myself to do that but when i can think about them i don't you know, I used to get like, you can tell my whole demeanor would change if I talked about them. And I honestly feel like, you know what, these people can no longer hurt me. They fear me before I fear them. And I don't want them to fear me. But it's just like when you put certain people in situations, you have to be able to deal with the consequences that you have done, with all the things that you have done. So it's just like I pray for them and hope, hope the best for them. Hope they can heal from whatever situations they got themselves in for them to be able to project stuff like that. So, you know, when you're going through things, be able to let go of the negative so the, the positive can flow through. You know, and I know it might take one day at a time and you just have to see that situation for what it is. It's a lesson that you had to pull from that situation and grow and learn from it. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. Send out love and light and positivity as well as you do the same um much love let me see who i'm gonna give a post notification shout out because i forgot to go ahead and write down the new people that i got krista christiana indigo Rankin, and lisa mc uh Devitt. i hope that's your last name i'm sorry if i didn't pronounce it right much love to you send out as much love and light and positivity drop me a line you know share the videos give me a thumbs up like and subscribe give me a you know Give me a line or two. Let me know how, how you are and, you know, let me know what's going on with you. It will greatly be appreciated and I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.